What is up guys, it is your boy, WeMessy11, and today for you I have an informed Gary Mackay Steven player review. And this guy was very, very expensive. I managed to get him on a good deal. I picked him up for 1 million coins. I think it was about 5... 5... Uh, 59 actually. It was just before the Team of the Week was released. This one came on the market. And I snapped it up as quickly as I could. I did manage to play around 78 games with this guy. A few of the guys rage quit and I didn't count on his record for some reason. But as you see there's his in game stats, 4 star weak foot, 5 star skills and I'm going to tell you how good this guy is and if you want to try this guy out, if you have the coins definitely try him out because I actually had fun playing FIFA. Now, Everyone knows since the patch, since the update a few weeks ago, FIFA just hasn't been the same. It has been a struggle to have fun and play and I had really, I really actually enjoyed myself playing the game tonight whenever I was reviewing this guy. And he was one of the main reasons why. Now, at first whenever I had Gary McKay, Steven, he was not the best. Now, it's probably the first time that I've actually noticed instructions make a difference on players. Now, I did change this guy's instructions to uh, stay on, stay wide and uh, run in behind and he plays so much better and what can I say about this guy? His shot inside the box. Now, a lot of skillers whenever you go on skill runs with them, they get down to the last minute and they cannot finish the shot and this guy, he does that look, he just cuts inside, takes his time, the shot just had enough power to get under the goalkeeper there and into the back of the net and his dribbling as well, he just dribbles in and out of players with ease, he's probably one of the, the as I've said many times in this review, he is probably the funnest player I have used on this game. Now, I say that a lot of reviews but... You know, this guy is something else. Look at that. I love his first touch. His first touch. Look at that. I show the replay on this goal. It's not that good a goal, but just watch. Watch this here touch. Just watch. Watch. Ball comes back to me here, and he touches it, and it's past the defender, and it gives him that easier chance of putting it home. His pace, he is very, very quick, and for a winger, that is what is good about him. Now, the only real problem with this guy, right? is his weak foot in my opinion. I find that his right foot was horrible and that is the only reason I would I wouldn't buy this guy. If you like scoring if you like your winger to score with either foot, I wouldn't buy this guy because his right foot is pretty bad and I didn't really I didn't really enjoy his right foot. Every time I hit a shot it just sort of went wide or didn't even trouble the goalkeeper but if you have the coins go pick this guy up. His skill moves is the reason that he's so much but definitely whenever he drops below 700 500 to 700k definitely go pick this guy up probably one of the best silvers that I have used and he would fit into most gold teams as well if you get it hybrided up because he is just that good he can shoot he can dribble he can pass he can actually outstrength a lot of players which surprised me because he does seem quite small but his physical did not let him down like it does on most skillers. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a like, a comment. I would give him a 9.5 out of 10 because you know that right foot just makes him makes him not worthy of the 10. In my opinion, and maybe his price is a wee bit expensive for a silver, but if he drops down, definitely go and pick him up. So hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.